Welcome to Hire Beyond the Disability, a video series designed to assist employers in recruiting, hiring, and managing qualified job candidates with disabilities. We encourage you to share our videos with others who may find this content helpful. Our program presenter is Victoria Mavis. She is a business owner, senior human resource professional, and an individual who has had a lifetime physical disability. If you've never been around an individual with a disability, you probably have questions or maybe you have a little fear if you're either the manager or the owner. Well, we have the top 10 misconceptions that are in the workplace about individuals with disabilities. Myth number one. The ADA, Americans with Disability Act, forces employers to hire unqualified individuals with disabilities. Not true. Unqualified candidates are not protected under the ADA. To be protected from discrimination in hiring, an individual must first meet the requirements for the job and be able to perform the essential functions of the job with or without reasonable accommodation. Myth number two. People with disabilities do not have the knowledge, skills, and abilities for the positions I'm trying to fill. Not true. A recent DuPont study indicated that employees with disabilities rated average or above average in job performance compared to someone without a disability. The key is clearly in identifying what each job entails. Myth number three, hiring an employee with a disability is going to cost a lot of money. Not true. In fact, it can actually make you money. For starters, you'll qualify for up to $7,400 in federal tax credits, which can help offset any expenses, plus another $15,000 in tax deductions are available. In addition, some states provide energy-related tax breaks when you let your employees telecommute. Myth number four, employing people with disabilities increases health care costs. Not true. Health insurance rates rarely rise in response to hiring people with disabilities. Instead, insurance rates are based on employer and group experience, not on whether workers have disabilities. Myth number five, hiring employees with disabilities increases workers' comp insurance rates. Not true. Insurance rates are based solely on workers' compensation on the relative hazards of the operation in the organization's accident experience and not on whether workers have disabilities or not. Myth number six, accommodations for employees with disabilities are expensive. Not true. The majority of workers with disabilities don't require accommodations to perform their jobs. And for those who do, the cost is usually minimal. In fact, over 56% of accommodations cost less than $600. If there are expenses to accommodate somebody, Remember, you have tax incentives or tax initiatives that can take care of that. Myth number seven, employees with disabilities have a higher absentee rate than employees without disabilities. Not true. Studies conducted by DuPont show that employees with disabilities are not absent any more than other employees without disabilities. Myth number eight, employees with disabilities are difficult to manage. Not true. A recent Harris poll indicated that 82% of managers said that people with disabilities were just as easy to manage as those without. Myth number nine, under the ADA, an employer cannot fire an employee who has a disability. Not true. Employers can fire workers with disabilities under three conditions. One, that the termination is unrelated to the disability. Two, that the employee does not meet legitimate requirements for the job, such as performance or production requirements, either with or without reasonable accommodation. And three, because of the employee's disability, he or she poses a direct health threat to the safety in the workplace. Myth number 10. Individuals with disabilities are less likely to want a job as it eliminates their Social Security disability insurance benefits. Not true. Many people with disabilities want to have meaningful work. SSDI has a transition work plan that encourages work while transitioning Social Security disability benefits without penalty 
to the individual with a disability. Now that you have a better understanding of working with individuals with disabilities, let's look at the business reasons to do so. I think you'll be surprised that they're more beneficial than you might think they are. We appreciate your time in watching our Hire Beyond the Disability video series, and we trust the information has helped prepare you to recruit, hire, and manage individuals with disabilities. If you have any questions at any time, contact us through the websites listed at the end of this video or view the Employer Resource Guide in this video series for additional contact information.